last yeah. year was Hope. Yeah, for me it was like, I have two kids. She's yes. my niece actually. Yeah. Okay. I have two kids and you know, I grew up in this country. I came here in the 70s. And in the 70s, even though that, um, even though right before we went through that um, civil rights movement. Right. When I came here, people were very, very welcoming. Incredibly welcoming to, to my family. And I always remember America as being that welcoming place where we were picked up at the airport, people invited, to our, uh, invited us to their house, welcomed us, showed us DC and everything. It was very welcoming. I would never have known a civil rights movement had you know gone through and right as i grew up everybody was very very welcoming very nice it was the american dream where you can come in as an immigrant yes. and make a life you know you can work hard my parents worked really hard to establish themselves where did they come from where where we was... came from bangladesh bangladesh okay yeah. all right and they they in their mind they always had that american dream we're going to work hard we're going to make something of ourselves they went, yes. you know, they did that. Um, my mom had two, three jobs. My dad had a couple of jobs. They went through and educated themselves. They went to, uh, you know, uh, the community colleges and got yes. degrees and this and that. And they established themselves. They bought a house, with, you know, all that. And our, all three of us, our, my brother and sister, we went and got uh, educated. We worked hard. And now we have families of our own. Right. And our children are born here. Right, and but when the election um, happened, or you're just 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 uh, um, run up to the election, so much bitterness, hate yes. mongering happened. I saw something in my children change, where they became afraid. And so you could were, actually see that physically. I could see that, happen. and they were like, "Mom, you know." Uh, you weren't born here. You are an immigrant. You should not fly out because they were afraid you, you couldn't come back. Come, couldn't come back. And I said, no. Listen, I've been a citizen for 40 years. They can't do that to me. And I said, you never know. Right. And uh, uh, there's so frightening they, stories about what they're doing with yeah. undocumented right, immigrants right. that and, are and, contributing to our country. Right. And I, I told them, no. You can't succumb to their the fear that you are hearing. This country is a democratic country, and we will overcome this period because there were, there have been, and my husband was telling them there have been periods in this country where you know people had to struggle, and this is just one of those struggles that you have to overcome. Right. You know, do not be afraid. Use your voice and be strong. So I did come to the march. I went to almost all of the marches. I went to the airport. You know. All okay. Time. When they did, when Trump did yeah. ban a couple yeah. week, a week, I don't know, yeah. a week, after, a yeah. week yeah. afterwards. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I wanted to show my children, you know what? You should not be afraid. Don't be afraid. You have to go out there. You have to speak your truth. You have to speak your voice, and let them know. And then you can you can influence the influence the direction the country goes in. Right, you, right. You know, you might be just one little person, but with together, you could influence how things go. And somebody I, I just interviewed said, showing up in reality and being physical, you oh, can't okay. delete that. Like, you can delete a post, you can delete a tweet, but us being here today is undeletable. This is reality, this is fact, and we, our, our, our presence, our voice matters. Yes, yes. So that's, you know, that's one of the things that I'm here. I'm going to show my kids, you got to get out there and you got to be active. Because so your, that's the your hope. Grand, yeah. Your grandparents, when they came here, they worked hard. And, they, you know, they did face a little discrimination here and there. But they were like, you know what? I'm going to do what I'm going to do to take care of my family. For the most part, everyone was welcoming. Yeah. And the color, uh, the no, race. What? No, that doesn't matter. Not, you know, because diversity here strings. In the, here in the 70s, I did not, I did not feel racism in right. the 70s right. as I was growing up here. But um, now, you feel it. In the last few years, it has, it, it, it has, you can feel it. That I think it was, it is a similar mood to maybe where I wasn't here then. But maybe during the civil rights movement, I'm not sure. Right, right. But I feel like we are going through another phase in this country. It's like a contraction. Yeah. Like we were expanding, 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 and then we we're, we're in a period of contraction. Mm -hmm. But we're here to hold the center, and we're going to go back out again. Like, yes. and we're learning from this, and we're growing. Yeah. Clearly, something came of the election. I mean, it was awful, but it's kind of like what we needed. I yeah. Think.
that way. Kind of like wake us up? I think, yeah. And get us involved? That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's an awakening that we have to get involved. And stay involved. And, and I think uh, the thing that surprised me is how fragile our democracy is. I, that's, I think I asked you that question, like what shocked, if anything? And I think I was shocked by how fragile. We ha we're standing under the Lincoln Monument and its massive strong structure, but this could crumble. And that's so frightening. Yes. But I think in a way, we're also, we're also a very strong democracy. Yes. I mean, it is true, we should always value what we have and not let it crumble or die down because there will be all these people, Russia or other countries who want to bring us down, Right. you know, cause problems. Uh, and, but I think we are also a very strong democracy in that we are able to do a gathering like this and voice our opinion and we're not going off to jail or right. not, not being killed or anything like that. Right, because in other places of the world that yeah. is happening. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. so so we are we are here protecting our democracy, protecting this beautiful sacred thing that we have right. and cherish. Yeah, and we must always do that. Vigilance. All of that. Yeah. Stay aware, awake, yeah. involved, present, stay present okay. in the moment. And we don't want to be like those other countries where they, you know, if you say one word, they crack down on you and they call you off. We never want to be that. So. Yeah, it's, it's pretty scary what's happening in Russia. Russia's going to have an election yeah. and oh, yeah. he's shutting down his, 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 his opponent. His opponent. opponent honestly, what, it was, what it was, Pussy Riot, yeah. they, they imprisoned those girls there, right? and beat them. It was horrible. Yeah. Yeah. We need Pussy Riot here. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. This, this is an honor.